Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Mess with Tarek and our continuing series on the Steam Deck. More importantly, how to get emulators set up and what games you should be playing. A couple months ago, I did a tutorial on using the Dolphin emulator on your Steam Deck for GameCube games. And everyone's been asking me to take a look at Wii, so I'm going to be doing that as well today. Because Dolphin emulator is not just GameCube, it's also Wii because those two systems are so similar in architecture. Before I get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like and subscribe and ring that notification bell, definitely helps us out. If you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, you got a Patreon link down below as well. But right off the top, pay close attention to the Wii setup guide, because the Wii is a completely different system control-wise than the GameCube, and there are a lot of different steps to get it working correctly. This is not going to be a tutorial on how to get motion control set up with a dolphin bar. If you want to see that, leave me a comment down below, because I would do that in a part two, but I want to see if you guys want to see it first. If we take a look at the GitHub for EmuDeck and all the installers that it has, if we go down to Nintendo Wii, it's going to show you that it's a standalone emulator, the files it takes, and the fact that you do not need any BIOS file to get the games running. Some emulators require those BIOS files, others do not. We have nothing to share in the respect for a BIOS here, you just don't need it. Now, if you take a look at these two games that I dumped from my original disc, don't forget you should own the games. All we're going to do is move those over into a mass USB device. You can FTP into your Steam Deck, but all my tutorials are via using just a USB stick because I'm pretty sure you're all going to have them. I just create a folder named Wii and I go ahead and paste the files I want in there. Now, do be aware that Wii games, once you dump them, are quite big files. And the transfers do take a little bit, so what I recommend on these larger games is just use the desktop dolphin emulator and go ahead and try to load a game up. You'll see here if I pick a file that I know is bad, it's going to warn me that it cannot use this file. If you had taken the time to transfer that from your PC to your Steam Deck, you would have wasted like 10 minutes. So definitely I recommend you always test your games on a desktop emulator before you transfer them over. So long as they boot on desktop Dolphin, they're 100% going to work when you get over to your Steam Deck. Take the 10 seconds, save 10 minutes. Trust me, it's going to be a big benefit because I always hear people saying they spent an hour transferring files and nothing worked. And it's because the files were not good. And like I said earlier, I recommend a dock because all of my tutorials are via a USB. USB thumb drive. I just find it the easiest way to deal with these things, especially because everyone should have a dock, and I will be probably doing some giveaways soon, stuff that people have sent me. I do have an extra dock that a company wanted me to show off, so if you want to see a Steam Deck giveaway video, tell me down below and I will do that. So once we get the files onto the USB drive, we'll just go ahead into our Steam Deck's desktop mode. It will plug that in and we'll hit mount and open. From there, you're going to see there is that Wii folder we created with the games we have in it. And all we need to do is copy them over into the correct location on our MU Deck installation. It may be different on yours depending whether you use an external drive or if you did it on to the primary drive. But you'll see here we go under emulation. And again, remember, no BIOS file for the Dolphin emulator. So we don't need to worry about BIOS whatsoever ever in this one it is a one convenient factor for the emulator but if we go into the roms folder everything is alphabetized and of course w is pretty close to the end of the alphabet so we're going to scroll all the way down until we see Wii. that is going to be the folder we're going to put all of our Wii games in don't put them in the gamecube folder i see people do that now and again and if you are curious what file types the emulator will take and you didn't go over to GitHub, every single folder has a text file in it showing you exactly what type of files you can use that are supported by that emulator. Like I said, just go ahead and paste those two files over and we do know that they work because we tested them on our desktop, so we should be good to go. But just remember that the Wii is a different system than the GameCube. It does have gyroscopic controls, and we are going to deal with those in a bit. But first, let's get the games over into Steam ROM Manager. But that's why I said make sure you definitely pay attention to all parts of this emulator. It's going to be important. If we go into Steam ROM Manager, we'll just hit Parse twice, and it's going to pull all the games we have in all of those diverse folders, and we're going to go ahead and see the two Wii games that we added. If you go over here into Category, there is a drop-down menu for Wii. Remember, there's not a category for every single emulator here, but all of the big primary ones are going to usually be listed, so you should be fine. If we select Wii, we're going to see Miramasa there, as well as Sin and Punishment. And do remember, if you want to change the artwork, if you see 1 of 11 or 1 of 5, any number like that, if you just click left and right, you can pull whatever cover art you like best to show up in your Steam Deck when you're in the more of that handheld OS mode. Once we're happy, we're going to go ahead and hit Save to Steam. It's going to batch those out, and it'll say Complete. That's all we need to do to make sure the games appear on our Steam Deck outside of desktop mode. 
but the two other things I'm going to recommend are the following. First is you want to enable the gyroscope. Because the Wii Motion Controls and Wii Motion Plus do have gyroscopes in them, you can articulate using your Steam Deck's internal gyroscopes to be able to control those in-game. You do need to install it and you do need to set a pseudo password. If you haven't done that already, definitely write it down if you forget it. You are reformatting your entire Steam Deck to make sure you can set it again. Type in whatever it is or set it for the first time and when you do that correctly you're going to see an installation prompt. I've already done this on mine so it is grayed out but it is something you definitely want to enable, trust me. And like I said again, this is not a comprehensive controller tutorial for the Dolphin Emulator. They're just getting games running so if you want to see that do comment below. Another thing if you haven't installed yet is you want to put on power tools. This allows you to change up the threads in your core count on the APU on the system. And as I showed on the GameCube tutorial, I will leave a link in the description below, Power Tools does allow you to change the amount of threads. It seems like Dolphin likes to run better when you're at 4 threads, not 8. There is some hitching that goes on, so I highly recommend you reduce the threads down to 4. It's not necessary for every single game, but it seems to be the best rule of thumb for this point moving forward. Maybe Dolphin will update and be able to use those 8 cores better in the future. But if you see here on Dolphin, if you go into your Manage Emulation Settings, you are going to get all of the different hotkeys when you're in the emulator on desktop mode. But here's the thing about the Dolphin emulator on the Steam Deck in general. I don't really recommend changing many settings when you're in handheld mode because the menu is really big, it's really clunky, it is much better to set everything in desktop mode and then just run that from the emulation. You can change some settings via hot commands and I will show you that shortly. But if we open up the Dolphin emulator in desktop mode here and we go to settings, you're going to see all the different things you're going to articulate and this is going to be a lot more than the handheld operating system mode. And if we go over to the Wii tab on the top, the first thing I recommend you do, and it is subjective but it is what I I do is I set the aspect ratio to 4 by 3. I like playing these games in the original aspect ratio and if you don't set this I have noticed in certain games on both GameCube and Wii it'll jump quickly between 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 standard aspect ratios rapidly in some menus and if you do have a sensor bar you can set it to either top or bottom that actually is important but that is additional hardware that doesn't come with your Steam Deck so that would be a second video. If we go over to the graphics settings some of these you can change within the game Obviously the back end is going to default to Balkan, so you don't need to touch that whatsoever, but the one thing I do is I force 4x3 onto the aspect ratio. I want to play these games in their original look, and that's what I prefer, and like I said, it does avoid some of those back and forth between aspect ratios. You do have the internal resolution multiplier, you can set it here, but you can also set it within the game when it's running with hotkeys, I will show you that momentarily, and you can do anti-aliasing as well. I honestly leave that off because I like the look of no anti-aliasing, but it is 100 100% up to you what you want to do. Everything else you can pretty much leave as is. But this is why I set that 4x3 forced. In something like a GameCube game here, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, it is jumping back and forth between those two aspect ratios and you will see that. Force it to 4x3 never happens again. And like I said in my GameCube video, which I will link to below, if you use the hotkeys I showed in the MU Deck menu earlier, you can change the internal rendering resolution on the fly of the Dolphin emulator. You just hold down a few keys, I'll put them up on the screen here, and you'll be good to go. You can launch games from within the desktop mode as well, but honestly, once you've set everything, I don't recommend this as much. I know some people like using desktop mode to play most of their emulators versus using handheld mode. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you do because I really would be curious. But if you want to do this, just be aware that the controls will not be bound in desktop mode by default. This is talking about the mobile kind of operating system look for Steam Deck. It is where I recommend you launch everything from. It is just an easier way to play. But you will see here from desktop mode, Miramasa is loading and that is all we really want. We want games to boot and be controllable. But if you go over obviously into the more traditional look for the Steam Deck, you'll see the games we added here. We just hit play, it'll open up the Dolphin emulator and we'll be off to the races able to play a game. Now because this isn't showing you the Wii motion control setup, that would be a separate video, everything that's going to be a screen pointer is going to default either to the right analog stick or the right thumb pad. I think the sensitivity on the analog stick is perfect. I think the trackpad underneath your thumb is absolutely terrible. It is way too twitchy. These are definitely, if you're playing mobile and don't have a Wiimote with a sensor bar with you, going to be harder to play sometimes. That is just the reality of emulating the Wii. But if you do dock this and you do have that sensor bar, you're going to get a one-to-one -one experience as how the original Wii would look and play 
way, but of course we can up that internal rendering resolution and do so many other things to the graphics like we showed you. Honestly, on a mobile mode, just taking your Steam Deck out, I much prefer games that don't use motion controls. If we move over to Miramasa here, this is a pure 2D game using the analog stick or D-pad and just the face buttons, and this plays absolutely spectacularly. It's a beautiful game, and if you've never played it before, definitely check it out. But tell me what your favorite Wii game is, I would be curious. But in motion, the Dolphin emulator on the Steam Deck is absolutely spectacular for obviously GameCube games and especially Wii games. This is one of my favorite emulators on the system. It looks, sounds, and plays exactly like you would expect a Wii to play, except you do have those increased graphical capabilities because the Steam Deck is way more powerful than a Wii and we have the emulation options. But again, this is playing exactly as I would expect. Fast fluid movement, very little to no lag in the controls, awesome sound, awesome graphics, no glitches. It is a pure 10 out of 10 experience in my opinion. But I do genuinely believe that the Dolphin emulator is better as a handheld when you're playing games that don't involve big motion controls. The Wii was never meant to be a portable and it's not a knock on the emulator whatsoever. I just think that if you want to play those motion control games, it's much better on a dock with those controllers set up because we have all of these different controllers we can configure here, but you can also emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter which would be a Wiimote but if you see at the bottom there we can also connect real Wii remotes to be able to play Dolphin with Wii games and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do that video but you tell me down below but if you just take the games that don't require a ton of motion controls and you use the Steam Deck as a handheld Wii, it is a 10 out of 10 experience. And if you follow all the steps in this tutorial, you'll be playing your Wii games on the go. Or even if you are docked, they still work perfectly. Short of that, I will have another Steam Deck video next Saturday. I'll have videos throughout the week as well. But if there's something I haven't shown on the Steam Deck yet you want to see, leave me a comment down below and I'm sure I'll get to it. Short of that, we're done and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.